the name of this tree? It has to do with the bark. No? Benjamin, shame on you. <laughs> I saw your hand raised. Shag bark. Shag okay. bark hickory. This is a hickory that has an edible nut. And it's edible. Uh, it's used by a lot of wildlife. Um, and it's um, it has this character. So we have two hickories, bitter nut hickory and shag bark hickory. Will we and see a bitter nut today? No, no, unfortunately not. Um, it has a really nice edible nut. Um, it's a very, very hard wood. Uh, some of the, one of the interesting things is that the uh, natives that weren't, I mean the natives, the, the pilgrims or the first, our first settlers who had to have lights with oil, like lamp oil, right? Most of them used, what, what did most of them use for their oil, do you know? Especially along the seacoast? Whale. Whale oil, right. Well, in the inland, they used to take the nuts from these trees and they would process the nuts and they would get oil for their lamps from hickory, from hickory nuts. A lot of people don't know that. This is, uh, these, these, these are red oaks over here. This is a type of red oak. Uh, all the red oaks have, excuse me, all the red oaks have points at the end of their lobes. These are what they call the lobes and they have points. All the white oaks have rounded edges to the, to the lobes. And this is a, a tree that was actually not, it's not native. It's been brought in, it's called pin oak. This is a street that's, a tree that's uh, heavily used as a street tree in the Northeast. And um, you thought this was by Native Americans? Yeah, because they're not native to Grindstone or really Northern New York, um, they, there's, I don't know if it's just a, a tale, but they say that the Native Americans actually brought them here um, and they, and as Don was saying, a lot of our red and white oaks, um, the Native Americans would use uh, the acorns, and they would grind those up, and they would use it almost as a flour, a, bi a binding agent for uh, the bread that they would make. Yep, that's so. what they, that's what they, the prime, when their primary food source was grinding up the acorns. And the red oak group uh, had more tannin in it, so they'd have to set that out and let the rain leach through it. The white oaks are a sweeter acorn. And they could use those straight. Do you have any black oak? Um, there's some black oak in places, yeah. Up here? Yeah, uh, yeah there's I would there's, love to see a sample. Black oak. Oak. It has a wider leaf than the. the, the and it's, is it hairy on the underside? Yes, well, yeah. That's the difference yeah. between the, the red oak. Yeah. Because yeah. I do the tree idea to stay fair, and I can never find a black oak. Okay. I've always been looking for one. Huh. Okay. Another one that we have um, on the foot of grindstone is black walnut. Uh, black walnut is native to northern New York, but not native to Grindstone Island. Um, you know, a lot of the studies that have been conducted on Grindstone Island over the years, over the last 200 years, never really showed um, black walnuts. Um, until the last 100 years, we've really started to see a high concentration of them. And just like the pin oaks that we have here, or, or Don was saying, uh, a type of red oak, um, they're really actually taking off on the foot of grindstone. It's actually a great environment. The soils are fertile. Um, they've got, um, you know, there's a lot of moisture, as you can see, the, uh, for a majority of the year, the soils are saturated. So it's really created an ideal um, environment for some of these uh, non-natives, or, yeah, non-natives, uh, to be able to establish themselves and then also regenerate. So.